hands are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? Well, they finally made a Castlevania Netflix show. And guess what? It's not bad. Actually, I think it's pretty fucking cool. I had my hopes that they would eventually do something with this game series in terms of a movie or show, and it's nice to finally see it happen, even if it is very, very short. Castlevania is my favorite NES game. I love the game to death, it's hard as hell, and before my time, but damn it, it is just too fun. I even have love for Simon's Quest, Castlevania 2, and of course, Castlevania 3, which is actually, from my understanding, what this particular show is based on. I was kind of surprised to see we would get Alucard and Cypher from the other games and thought it would be more along the lines of the Lords of Shadow games, God of War style in design and character appearances. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed seeing them in it though. Honestly, reviewing this series is a bit hard because it can be breezed through in an extremely short period of time. I just sat down, saw it up, and said, sure, why not, and watched all four episodes. With the episodes being only 25 minutes or so in length, I'm actually pretty surprised they were able to get as large of a story done as they set out to do, but really all four episodes are basically set up for the future eight episode sequel season coming soon. Can't wait to see that shit. Uh, I think out of all the episodes there were to choose from, the two I enjoyed the most were episodes one and four, and I'm not sure if that's because they were the ones that set up the most characters or because they were the most appealing to watch. The art style they're using for this series is very reminiscent of something you'd see post-Symphony of the Night in Castlevania and looks a lot like the covers of those Game Boy Advance sequels in the series that I never got around to playing. It feels very Japanese, even though I'm pretty sure this was mostly an American effort and if it makes any sense, the closest thing this series looks and feels like anime-wise to me is Nickelodeon's Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, nothing negative really sticks out to me in the show and that's a major positive I can give it. Because with something like this, anything possible could have gone wrong. I mean, I can imagine a number of dumb scenarios where characters act like the Legend of Zelda games for the Philips CDI, and it putting a bad taste in people's mouths for, uh, years. How about a kiss? For luck? You've got to be kidding. But yeah, the, probably the highlight of the show for me personally was learning why Dracula actually hates humans so much, and seeing the events that help him create that hate is actually quite intriguing and very clever. I never thought Dracula could be turned into a sympathetic character, but now I actually feel pretty sorry for the guy. I mean, he is totally wrong in all the killing and evil he's bringing about in this show, but honestly, it makes sense. And that leads me to the violence itself. For an anime, this thing can get pretty bloody. And uh, the only thing I think I've seen similar to this in terms of Netflix shows is Attack on Titan which I admittedly need to finish because of how epic the few episodes I've seen of it are, but Castlevania feels like an American successor in terms of visual violence. And I'm not saying it's equal to or better than Attack on Titan because I can't really make an opinion on the fact that I still haven't completed the latter, but I can say they remind me of each other. Another thing about Castlevania that really stuck out to me was the fact that it was evoking a very, uh, I guess you could say, Games of Thrones aesthetic. In fact, the lead character, Trevor Belmont, really did feel like uh, something you would see in the snow, you know, in Game of Thrones. Uh, it's very fun. I really recommend this. Uh, my final thoughts on the show are this. If you're a fan of Castlevania, go do yourself a favor and check the series out. It's four episodes. I mean, you really have no excuse that it's incredibly short and done quite well, so believe me when I tell you it's worth your time. Seeing a bellman on TV cracking a whip at demons and watching Dracula destroy cities has been a blast, and I can't wait for mini season two. <laughs> I, uh, I give Castlevania a 10 out of 10, a 5 stars out of 5, and an A+. Plus. It's a quick little show, go fucking watch it. Uh, this is the first time I've reviewed a show like this on my channel, if you're interested to see any more, please tell me what to watch. I will watch that shit immediately, uh, unless it's something that I know is extremely good, like T Attack on Titan, and I'll just keep putting it off until I never get around to seeing it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I seriously enjoyed the show. Go watch it. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Like, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see in the future and what you feel about this Castlevania show. Uh, as always, take it easy.